You're watching BBN Tonight, presented by Edna. Healthier happens together. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. So Kentucky basketball has long prided itself on being a program that prepares guys for the next step in their basketball careers at the professional level. And maybe the best way to do that is to go get a guy with nearly two decades of coaching experience in the NBA to join your staff. John Welsh is Kentucky's newest assistant coach and he's worked with some of the game's best players and coaches. Now he's bringing that valuable experience to a very young Kentucky yes. basketball team in Lexington. He sat down with our Keith Farmer for his first interview since joining John Calipari's staff. Well, Coach, welcome into uh, Lexington full-time. I know you know about BBN, you know about the Wildcats, but what's it like being here full-time? Oh, it's been great. Uh, very appreciative of the opportunity, and uh, I'm very familiar with it. You know, with my son has been here the last four years, so I've watched just about every game for the last four seasons, and I've known Coach Cal for, you know, 25 years or so, so I've followed his career. So uh, there's some familiarity with me here. What was the conversations like with Coach just trying to bring you in and everything? Sudden. Happened to call me on the phone and actually was had another job opportunity. I was, was going to go and we, we talked and I decided this was, you know, probably a better opportunity for me. So decided to come here and it, it happened very quickly. How tough a decision is it to decide to go back to the college game that you've not been in for so long? They run it like an NBA program. They have NBA talent. So I, 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 I imagined, you know, so far it's, it's, it's felt the same. You know, the facilities here, uh, the other coaches here, it's, uh, you know, to me, I, I haven't found much of a difference. During the, the release, I guess, to that point, Coach mentioned how, you know, he's really looking for you to help bring that dribble drive back and, and to bring back maybe an offensive strategy and everything. Is kind of an offensive coordinator, so to speak? Uh, I, I'm not sure about that. It is, I think, you know, I'm, I'm familiar with how Coach Cal likes to play offense, and I think a, a big part of my role will just be uh, with the workouts and in pre, post practice, during practices, is is forming drills that you know simulate the game situations, and and just help improving what he already does. Uh, and I think you know it, his teams in the past uh, with with the right personnel have been you know great at the dribble drive. And I think what he sees is he sees the players he has this year that that as as great attackers mm -hmm. and players that can get in the paint and make plays. Uh, they can play random basketball. Uh, you know, play play more with pace and just space the floor and give them more freedom. And uh, I just think that's a fun way to play. And I think it's something you know, Big Blue Nation will enjoy this season. I, I think the players have to be enjoying that to to see, like you said, they're it's run like an NBA kind of program, and uh, they've got to be looking at a guy who's been there and done that and and be soaking it all in from you even this early. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've had a great time. You know, I've been here, you know, two weeks and, you know, working camp with the players and, and having, you know, a, you know, a couple of group workouts and some individual workouts. Uh, yeah, just the, uh, like I said, there's, you know, in the NBA now, players have gotten younger and younger. So, like, the, you know, we have NBA talent. And, and it, it's, it hasn't been any different for me working with the players we have here than working with NBA players. You've had so many great coaches you've worked for through the years. Where do you feel that helped form like the person and coach you are? I think you learn something from, from everybody. And, and there's, you know, you know like I, I was with, you know, in college, you know, Jerry Tarkanian, you know, great defensive play, coach, fat, fast break coach. Uh, in the NBA, I was with George Carl for off and on over 10 years, kind of another, you know, more of an offensive, you know, fast breaking coach. Uh, you know, it, that's how I think it's fun to play. And, and with, with Coach Calipari, I think it's going to be the same. You see these players that you have this year, how quickly, are you, are you already working with them in these first yes, two weeks? Yes, yes. You're in the gym with them. And what have you seen from them early on? Just a passion for the game. You know, it's, uh, you know they're constantly wanting to come back into the gym and work more and do things. And uh, that uh, I think we have a, a group that, that again enjoys basketball that is you know uh, you know wants to prove that even though they're young that they can, they can be successful and they can win games is what I kind of feel from our players well rounded from from guard to center I guess what, what you're seeing Ugo I think I've, I've been very impressed with for you know as, as young as he is you know he's he's still 18 years old it's you know, I told him I said you know I've worked with NBA players and there's not many NBA players at 18 that are as talented as he is. Uh, he's going to improve a lot, and you know he's gotten so much stronger 
uh, in the weight room. And I think the, the you know, him and Adu, you can see have gained weight, gotten stronger, and I think that, that's carried over to the court. The strength coach Brady has done a great job with them since last season. I find a lot of players in the NBA, it's, it's from their rookie to their sophomore season, they really improve. It's hard to get them the first year, and I think it's the same thing with freshmen. Uh, but if they stay that second year, you have the whole spring, summer, you know, that's where they make the big jump. And I think from what they, they've done this off season with the coaches uh, and the strength coach, that you're gonna see a big improvement from those two players. You had the chance to work with some former Wildcats yes. in the league. What was that like? And uh, I've and always had a good experience. Some of my yeah. favorite players, you know, uh, DeMarcus and Willie in Sacramento and, and, and Rondo in Sacramento, uh, yeah. uh, you know, are three of my favorite guys, you know, like, uh, you know, we, we figured things out with DeMarcus and he had a great season and, you know, he offensively he was unstoppable. And, you know, Rondo, I think, led the NBA in the assists that, that year. Uh, you know, as on a previous interview was saying, you know, he came back every evening to work on his game. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, was constantly in the gym. Willie, same thing, would, would always seek me out wanting to do extra work. Everybody talks about Coach Cal's players coming in being so ready. Did, did you find that to be the case for the Yes. League? Well, you know, Rondo and DeMarcus were, were older. Uh, we, had, you know, I remember Willie's draft workout. Uh, we, we had a, a guard and, and Willie in together, and I was on the, other end with the guard, and Willie wasn't really known as a shooter. And I just happened to glance down, he was making every shot. And I think one thing with, with Willie was a very underrated shooter. You know, like he, he was drafted so high because, you know, he had the ability to protect the rim, and in his pick and roll defense, he could switch and move his feet. Yeah, you, you know they've played with good players, you know. Every season, they, they play hard and they play unselfishly. And that's the two things. I don't think anyone does a better job than Coach Cal. And that's you know, kind of what the NBA, you're gonna, you have to have the ability to play with good players. And you're gonna get that here. Really cool getting to hear from him for mm -hmm. the first time. Obviously a lot of good things he had to say. I love just hearing about the players he's worked with who yes. have been gym rats in the past. Because I think John Welsh is a gym rat. We've heard <laughs> yeah. that a little bit behind the scenes already. He's not a coach who's even able to go out on the recruiting trail and to try and get high school guys, transfer portal mm -hmm. guys, anything like that. He is strictly on campus working with the current team, X's and O's, workouts, making yes. these guys better, developing them into NBA caliber players. In the gym, constantly. Yes. Welch DNA, I guess you would say <laughs> it is. All right, well, we have to take a short break, but stay with us. We have the latest on some other Wildcats coming your way next. A little trap talk after this.